I'm Dan Ackerman and we're here taking a look at the Dell Latitude 10. That is an Intel Atom full Windows 8 touchscreen tablet from Dell. Uh, it actually looks and feels a lot like pretty much every other Windows 8 touchscreen tablet that we've seen. Some of them have Intel Core i5 CPUs like the Microsoft Surface Pro. Other ones like this one are Atom powered. The big difference uh, between those two, even though they kind of look the same at first glance, is that the Atom ones are going to be lighter, they're going to be a little bit thinner, of course, they're not going to be as powerful. They do have really good battery life, however. And of course, the Core i5 versions are going to be more expensive. Uh, the Surface Pro starts at $899. You really want the $999 version of that. Meanwhile, the Latitude 10 and a lot of the other Atom tablets start around $499 for a really stripped down version. Uh, this pretty mainstream configuration is $649. Uh, you can also add for $100 something like a docking station, this custom docking station for this, which adds a video out and an Ethernet in jack and some additional additional USB ports because on the uh, body of the tablet itself you've only got one uh, USB 2.0 port. In fact, all of them are USB 2. Uh, that's one of the uh, downfalls of using this Atom platform instead of the uh, more advanced Intel Core i series platform where USB 3.0 is required. Now, of course, you've got a touch screen that despite the fact that this is an Atom processor still feels very responsive. Uh, Windows 8 was really uh, designed to take advantage of uh, the Core i series and the Atom and give you your pretty decent performance in the Microsoft uh, optimized apps in any case. Uh, if you use some third-party apps, uh, you may not have an experience that's as good. Uh, I took a look at Internet Explorer 10. Uh, when you scroll through a web page with that, it's very nice, very smooth. If you load up the same uh, web page in Chrome, it's actually very stuttery, a lot more like what you would think an Atom would feel like based on our experience with netbooks. Uh, now, if you're using this for everyday tasks and all you're doing is uh, sending some emails, surfing the web, maybe doing one thing at a time, uh, you could probably get away with the Atom and, and take advantage of the lower cost associated with one of these tablets. If you're a big multitasker or you're going to use this as your all-day, everyday computer by, let's say, hooking it up to a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse, uh, then you may want to seriously consider upgrading to something with a Core i5 CPU that really won't be that much more expensive when you consider uh, that uh, the performance performance on the systems is just so, so, so much faster. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Dell Latitude 10.